Hello everybody and welcome, it's Vidan here, so glad that you can tune into another video. Today I'm going to show you how to easily make about 52,000 for this new Lich Boss on logs. So we're starting off with a sword placement here and it's going to be a very, very kind of um, quick and easy to follow strategy that doesn't really have that much skill in it. Um, there's not really too many kind of, you know, different strategies you can do here to eke out money. But luckily, the good thing is, is that we can actually get a favoured trades down, which will help massively because if we did and Eco would be a bit tight tier one, but this boss is actually a very straightforward one. Um, I expect the top three times, you know, they're going to be basically all frame perfect. So let's just go and basically save until we can get our first farm on round five. Now, I wanted to try and get a tick out of it, but I don't think he can. So if he can, um, that'd be really good. Just basically place it down as soon as he can, but I don't think he can get an extra plus 20 out of it, but I could be wrong there. Then all we're going to do is basically, same as always, we're going to go and get our bank. So um, like I said, if you're a regular viewer here, you're going to be sick of it, but I'm going to just tell it one more time just for anyone who's new. So basically, we get a 200 farm, then another 200 farm, then we upgrade the initial farm, which should be discounted if you have the monkey knowledge. So please have all monkey knowledge equipped. We're going to get that one to 220, so you get the valuable bananas upgrade. Then you get the other one to 202. And once you have about 1385, you sell the 202 and get the 220 to 230. Okay, bit of a mouthful, um, but it's basically just a super easy way to get a bank quick. So there's nothing really that fancy there. Um, so by round 10, you should have your first 200. Um, you can also, I didn't place the free glue down until a bit later on, but I suppose you could place it a bit earlier. All you basically need to do, you've just got one thing you need to do. If any balloons leak, just use sword as ability. That's pretty much the only thing you have to focus on. The rest you can kind of just play on double speed for most of it. Um, also, whilst we're going through the kind of boring bits here, I just want to say, if you haven't already, please join our Discord. Um, it's absolutely been refurbished now. We have over 200 members, many top players, um, some moderators now. So I actually recruited a few moderators me and Van Sheka did, who are doing a fantastic job. In fact, one of the moderators is a top player in the world as well. Um, so what this allow you to do, you'll have full access to, you know, full strategies, um, you know, be able to speak to the top players. And also we're going to add like a little reward system as well. You know, we have like um, Paragon degree calculators. So for this boss, we knew immediately what level Paragon we need to get the insta kills. Um, you know, we also are able to see the boss event a little bit early, okay? So we can actually start practicing the boss a day or two early, which is why, you know, it's super easy or much quicker for us when a boss comes out to implement the correct strategy straight away because we've already had like a little test at it. So please feel free to join that and yeah. Okay, so now we're going to get our next 200. Um, you want to have 95 left over roughly unless you're doing clever tricks. So if you know the little optimization, there's a very clever optimization. If you get a 100, to a 200, as soon as it gives a tick of a banana, you'll get an extra tick, but you have to be very, very quick with timing. So I didn't do that here, but you could have about $40 more. Um, but other than that, it should be, you know, everyone's gonna have pretty much the same here. Unless, um, I'd be interested to see, has anyone managed to defend with a different tower other than Disorder for early game? Because that would allow us to potentially get the bank around or two earlier. But I couldn't use Submarine, for example. I even tried Beast Handler, but it'd get penalty. Um, so just keep fast forwarding through. And then at the end of round 19, what we're going to be able to do is we're going to be able to sell the 202. Now I've got a 230. Okay, um, so now what I'd recommend is once you start getting into the 20s, you know, balloons get a bit quicker. So I thought, let's just go and add a glue, set him on last, um, just help sword her out a little bit. We're not going to get a penalty here as well because the balloons are like a higher degree level now. So it should be all good. Then we're just going to get another 200 farm. As you can see there, I just had to quickly use Sorder's ability. My sword placement here is not very good at all, actually. Um, I just kind of wanted her a bit out of the way. You can definitely place her in a much better situation. And I do apologize as well because because I know I've missed farming videos on the last two bosses, which is not like me. Just, you know, the PhD, sometimes it gets a bit hectic and I have to prioritise that. Um, so yeah, all we're going to do is literally just wait now until we get it to 100, then we're going to get another 200. So I was originally going to fast forward this, but I thought just in case you're completely new um, or you're just getting into farming, I'll show the full thing because it's always better to see um, the full thing. I don't want to be lazy and just like, oh, well, 
All you do is get the 2-0-0 zero, zero and fast forward because you never know. Maybe when I use Sorda's ability, it could come in handy for some of you. Um, luckily, the cooldown is so short, though, so you shouldn't really encounter any issues here. Just as soon as you have a leak, use Sorda's ability. Everything will be good. Basically, what we're going to do is we're just going to save up now until we collect from the bank on round 30. Um, I don't think it's economically viable to get another farm down and then sell it. I could be wrong, but I think just pretty much saving up is going to be the best bet. Notice on 28 as well that we did use Sorda's ability to do all the leads 30 will do the same press it instantly at the start of 30 wait for the cooldown again you should have two or three leads then use the ability once more now upgrade it to 202 and sell it this is so you get higher sellback price collect from the bank which should now be pretty much full and then you've got multiple positions to go here but i'm gonna go so this is where one of my friends juicy insert in the discord um, placed his and i thought this is quite an easy place to do it actually so we can get free farms around this discount village okay so me and him we always kind of have a little competition for tier one farming sometimes i'll be a couple hundred ahead sometimes he's a couple of hundred ahead he's a couple of hundred ahead of me on this one actually but it's a nice little competition so i'll link his um, channel in the description because i got this from him okay so basically we're getting all of the marketplaces then i'm just going to upgrade them to valuable bananas along the way i thought you know what i'll just keep it in range of the discount um just to make the you know the upgrades a little bit cheaper and then obviously once we've got these sorted then it'll be bloom trap time um Round 31 could be a little bit of difficulty. You should be good if you use Sorda's ability, but just, just be careful. You don't want to get in, get a penalty here because obviously this is the one downfall of logs is that if they basically make it through this first bit and you don't have Sorda's ability, you're getting a penalty. What I'm going to do next is we're going to start preparing our balloon trap, of course. This is kind of the make or break for tier one farming. I said one word then, tier one. Um... Sorry about that. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to go and just get him to Bloom Trap as soon as we can. It'll probably be during 34. Ideally, you'd want it earlier the better, right? Just so you can earn a little bit more. But just basically as soon as you can during 34, put it on slow-mo when you're close to the money and get it to Bloom Trap. And then what you're going to do is target him right at the front as far up as he can so that he's not going to shoot when it's deployed and then obviously it's just going to be Bloom Trap Micro there. So if you don't know what Bloom Trap Micro is, the basic for beginners... You constantly redeploy it after every time it's down. And if you want to be optimal, leave and rejoin at the end of every round, okay? If you're playing solo, you can do that. Next, I'm just going to set up a boat. It's going to make sure that we encompass every single farm and the balloon trap um, because obviously we're going to sell them. And then it's a case of during this round, what you want to do is you want to be able to upgrade it to Merchant Man, okay? So that's the goal. You want to be able to at least get 2,300 during this round to upgrade Merchant Man. Maybe spam it a bit because it may take you near the end of the round, but you should have some good leeway here. And then the next goal is to get a rubber to gold alchemist. I do believe it is worth it when you have favour trades, but I could be wrong. But I think I made a little bit more than um, when I didn't have it. So please let me know if you think it's efficient. But I, th I, th I think it's efficient, especially if you have favour trades down, which obviously we will get once we've got rubber to gold. Join this round. Just make sure, you know, that all the pink balloons go in the balloon trap. Don't be um, letting it redeploy during this balloon swarm because then you'll lose some money. Okay, cool. So now what we're going to do is we're going to collect from the um, balloon trap and then we're going to set up a rubber to gold. So I'm just looking at the range here of the, or the radius, sorry. And we're going to make sure that it's in the radius of the favor trades that we're going to build, but also it's going to be ahead of the balloon trap because we don't want the balloon trap to be taking away leads. And then we're just going to basically, um, during this round, just upgrade it to rubber to gold. And what's always nice as well, I recommend add maybe... Um, another glue or get one of the glues to zero one zero just so you can kind of get as many balloons possible coated by the rubber to gold if you want to be a super try hard you can do some rubber to gold micro in by changing from strong to last to coat even more balloons but we're going for a more casual approach here so we're not going to bother with that okay like i said i'm just going to get two glues one of them on last one of them on first maybe i'll upgrade one if i'm feeling in the mood to it but we just want to slow the balloons down and let the rubber to gold coat it now all that we're going to do, we're going to save up for a favoured trades. Um, so you can kind of, well, I wouldn't recommend fast forwarding actually, don't fast forward here. This is the one bit where you need to concentrate. Um, because what you need to do is you need to make sure that none of the leads are going in the balloon trap. And you need to make sure the balloon trap's deployed at all possible um, times so that you're not leaking balloons. And then basically it's going to be just until the end of round 39. All we're going to do is just simply um, balloon trap micro, okay? So I mess up during 39. I do a bad balloon trap micro and that'll lose me about 500 if not a bit more because um, 
if well let's just see it here i'll see here the balloon trap's not down all them balloons missed it so that's a big loss in money okay but if you avoid that um skill issue then you should be good and you should be able to make about 52k so i think i make about 51,600 if i'm not mistaken let's just sell everything yeah, so 51,500, better balloon trap micro, you've got yourself 52,000. So I hope this has helped and I'll see you guys very soon.